thank members of Congress, their staffs, and baseball fans across the country for supporting tonight's congressional baseball game. This game is always an important moment for both parties to come together to support charity, build friendships, and celebrate our national pastime. But as you all know, tonight's game has taken on a much deeper level of meaning beyond anything that we would have thought. By playing tonight, you are showing the world that we will not be intimidated by threats, acts of violence, or assaults on our democracy. The game will go on. I want to take a moment to send our thoughts, love, and prayers to Congressman Steve Scalise and his entire family. Steve is our friend, he's a patriot, and he's a true fighter. I know you all will be playing extra hard tonight for Steve. We pray for all of the victims of this terrible crime who are still recovering, including Zachary Barth and Matt Micah, both of whom are respected and cherished by so many. We also pray Special Agents Crystal Griner and David Bailey of the Capitol Police for their heroic deeds that saved so many lives. What a great job they did. And we thank all of the members of the Alexandria Fire, Police, and Rescue. In Washington, we have our disagreements, but we all agree that we are here to serve this nation we love and the people who call it home. That's the source of unity. And more than ever, we must embrace it so that on this special night, I leave you with three great American words that for generations have torn down barriers, built bridges of unity, and defied those who have sought to pull us apart. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play ball.